Round three of the 2020 F3 Asian Championship saw the series head to Abu Dhabi for the first time, to the magnificent Yas Marina circuit with its stunning backdrop. After rain in Dubai the previous round, thankfully it was a dry weekend in Abu Dhabi for the championship's seventh race. Guest driver Ukio Sasahara led away from his pole position as Jack Doohan behind him looks to make up places early on in the race. Further down the field, Sebastian Fernandez overcooked things at the tight left-hander, locking up and losing a position. Championship leader Joey Alders was also strong in the race, giving strong chase to Pietro Fittipaldi in the race's closing stages. At the front, it was Sasahara who crossed the line first, but his guest status meant that it was second-place finisher Nikita Mazepin who took maximum points well, in race seven. Uh, but like I said, uh, the main credits is to Hitech who did a very good job after struggling uh, in race distance uh, in Dubai. So very happy. So Mazepin stood on the top step of the podium ahead of Duin and Fittipaldi. No time to rest because race eight took place the following morning and it was Jamie Chadwick sitting on pole position for the first time in the F3 Asian Championship. The British driver got away well from pole with Jack Doohan making a lightning start from second and going around the outside but he would have to give that position back for exceeding track limits in his overtaking manoeuvre. Lots of close action further down the field and it was too close for Tatiana Calderon and Tommy Smith who collided, putting both drivers out of the race and bringing out the safety car. Under the safety car, Chadwick reassumed her lead from Doohan and the British driver duly crossed the line for what she thought was her first victory in Asian F3. However, her post-race celebrations would prove to be short-lived as she was subsequently adjudged to have jumped the start and was issued with a penalty which dropped her to eighth in the final classification. Race nine followed shortly afterwards with Fernandez on pole for the first time this season. Spaniard made a good start as the pack jostled the position behind him. Plenty of action further down the field in race nine, but up at the front, Fernandez was unchallenged in his run to a lights to flag win ahead of Duan and Mazepin. But yeah, they were just, they didn't bother me to be honest because I think we had the pace and anyway I think we were faster than, than the guys behind. So it was a good race and I'm very happy. So after round three, Joey Alders maintains his championship lead ahead of Jack Doohan and Nikita Mazepin. In the Masters Cup, Paul Wong extends his lead over Thomas Ludi. As the series now moves on to Sepang in Malaysia for round four.